you'll be live. Go for it. Okay. All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you, Didi, for all your technical assistance that you always give us. Um, today's Monday, uh, and uh, we're in the first section. We're getting close to the end of the first section. Uh, today is going to be, uh, I believe, Perry Block and Punch, which is why I have the line on the floor. Uh, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, just a, a, a brief announcement before we uh, uh, officially start class and start our practice. Um, uh, the instructors and I are working on uh, uh, making a survey that uh, you should be receiving within the next couple of days or so. Um, uh, and uh, uh, so when you get our, our email about the survey, if you would please take the time to answer the questions. Um, we just want to get a, an understanding of, of uh, you know, where we're going to go next. Um, we're still not ready to open the doors of the school yet, uh, but we, we uh, want to find out kind of um, uh, your feelings about how things are going, um, how you perceive the, the next uh, couple of two, three months. Um, as we move forward with our Zoom classes, you know, what, what uh, you're comfortable with and, and so forth and so on. So uh, we're, we're um, um, uh, uh, almost at the end of, of creating the survey. So um, just kind of keep an eye out uh, for that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and practice. Uh, we'll start from the beginning and we'll go all the way through the knee brush sequence. Okay. All right. So here we are at prepare. Make sure your feet point straight, feet uh, shoulders width apart, hands touching the outer part of your thighs, keeping the head up. All right. From here, we go to opening, rotate and lift to shoulder height. Then pressing down from the upper arm, forearms, then the palms. Ward off left, shifting, turning, circling, arms closed, we step. Then Ward off left. Ward off right. Rotating, grabbing, and pulling. Closing the arm, step. Then go to ward off right. Roll back, turn, rotate your arm, shift back, turn to the left. Press, turn back. Press forward. Push, separating the arms to shoulders width, shift back, and push forward. Single whip, back, turn, shifting back, making your hook hand, ward off to strike. Raise hand, step forward, back and turn. Open the arms, stepping with your heel for your empty stance, close your arms. White crane spreads its wings. Going into your empty stance using the ball of your foot. Left knee brush, swing, step, brush knee, push. Hand strums the loop. Shifting back, change from the ball to the heel, and arm goes up and down. Left knee brush, rotate, swing, step, brush knee, push. Right knee brush and push, back, turn, Shift forward, swing step, brush knee, push. Left knee brush and push back, turn, swing step, brush knee and push. Hand strums the loop. Watch your footwork. Left knee brush, circle back, swing step, brush knee, Push. Okay, how's that? How are we doing, everybody? Good. Okay, okay good, good. That's a good answer. Um, anyone have any questions about anything we've done so far? The knee brush sequence, hands from the lute. I do, actually. This is Marion. Hi, Marion. Hi. Um, it's I was wondering if you could just quickly review the left, uh, I guess it's the right knee brush on the left side of the body. I, I just am having trouble getting the circles to feel natural and I think I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, uh, you're probably the only person that ever has ever experienced that. Uh, so um, 
I just want you to know that. Um, okay. But uh, it's like it's like writing with my hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I'd like for you to do. From here. Okay. We're at left knee brush, right? So the left foot is forward. Right arm up. Left arm down. Okay. Shift back to the center. Lift your left arm halfway. When you open up your foot, your left foot to the corner. I want you to bend your left elbow and now have your left fingers point to the right middle forearm. Okay, from here, I need you to think of yin and yang. So one's gonna go down, one's gonna go up. We're gonna exaggerate right now, okay? So we're gonna go swing, step. Okay, so let's go back to that. So we're like this, okay? So as you move your weight forward, left arm circles down and it's gonna go to the corner and the right arm's gonna go up and press down in front of the chest. Okay, so let's do that again. We're like this. Okay, swing, step. Brush knee, this goes together. Brush knee, brush knee, and then strike. Um, so most people, most meaning pretty much 100% of the people, uh, when, when we learn right knee brush, uh, 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 they feel uh, very challenged by that movement, okay? Uh, for whatever reason, uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but anyway, so again, from here, we're at left knee brush. All right, one, move weight back, left arm lifts halfway. Turn, close your arms. Then from here, swing, step. Brush knee, push or strike. So, you know, so when we're here, you know, we have this rotation and then we swing, step. So we've got this kind of motion going on with the upper body and the lower body, okay? So the upper body's turning and the lower body's stepping. So we have the same thing happening here where the upper body's turning, the left arm is swinging and the right arm presses down. So <clears throat> if you can practice from here to do this, step and have this arm kind of the right arm kind of go up a little bit as the left arm is going down and do this motion <coughs> excuse me Mary uh, hopefully that will help make this movement feel a little bit more comfortable okay I, I think for most of us it, was that was that the, the issue yeah it's really it's it's, it's it's the swing of the right arm I've got the swing of the left arm out finally but it's the right, it doesn't feel like it's making the right kind. It doesn't feel like I'm in the right area to make a circle, but if I just, you know, try to. So, so the right arm, when we're, when we're like this, the right arm isn't gonna make a circle. It's gonna go up and press down. Up to down, then forward and back. That's what it's doing. So when you say up, do you lift your elbow or just the arm, the hand? Uh, uh, my whole arm is going upwards. My whole arm, I'm gonna exaggerate. My whole arm is going upwards as my left arm's going downward. And then the left arm comes up, the right arm goes down. See, we have this up and down, we have this up and down. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> so what I want to feel here is this arm's going down, this arm's coming up a little bit. And we are turning, so the right arm is doing this. It's just up to down, up and down. So if you stay still, it's up, down. That's all it is. Okay, up, down. okay. All right, thank you, thanks. Yeah. So, so, so what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to do this with your right arm. Don't go out, out to make a circle and go like this. Just go up, up, and down. Ah, okay. Okay, so, so it's different if you, if, if you do this kind of circling. See here how I'm kind of separating this way? Right. I don't separate left and right, I want you to separate up and down. Okay. Her hand should only go in front of her. <laughs> I'll work on that. 
Yeah, you know, uh, uh, you know, when you're like this, mm -hmm. the right arm, right. the right arm is going up a little bit, and then it presses down. Then it moves forward and goes back. Is that what she's doing? Is that what I'm doing, Mike? I think uh, your your hand should you know, bring bring your hand in front of your face. Yeah. So when you're like this. Mm -hmm. With your thumb pointing at your face, okay? And then push down. My thumb pointed at my face. Well, yeah, bring your hand in, up in front of your face uh, and with your thumb pointed at your face, right? And then push down from there. That's right. So don't go too high. Oh. Don't bring your arm up over your hand up over your head. Yeah, we don't want to make this kind of big movement. We don't want to make this kind it's of movement. It's more of an elbow circle. Okay, so from here, it's up, 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 down. It's just a slight bend. up and down. Yeah, bend your elbow to bring your hand up and then push down. So, so come here, Michael. So this is what I want you to think about uh, as far as what we're doing. And this is why the, the arm, the right arm, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> cannot come up too high. Mm, go, go this way. Okay, so if Michael punches toward me, see here, I need to connect with my forearm. Then I press down. Okay. Then I come up and hit him. Okay. But if you go too high, then how are you pressing down? Using your upper arm. We need we need this forearm, the middle of the forearm. So right. when he comes to punch, see when he comes to punch, then here's this connection here. Then we press down. So depending upon where they're trying to hit you, how they're trying to hit you then um, you know, we wanna to try to keep things at a minimum when we're doing the four, okay? So if you think here, uh, okay, so let's go back here. All right, so no, here. Okay, so I go one, and then he comes to punch towards me, and here I can, I can also grab if need be, okay? And we're gonna to get to this one in Perry Block and Punch. But, but say for instance, I come here and I connect and I circle like this, then from here, now I'm ready to hit. Let's see how I can grab him. Mm -hmm. Then I strike. So, so by having the right arm, okay, having the right arm go out to the side, see he can already punch me. Right. To have him too high, then then I'm I'm where am I going to connect with him? Pretty much with the inside of my elbow. This is not this is not going to be too effective. So if you just if you just yeah. connect with them with your middle forearm, then press down, then you then you have a better chance. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, so, guys. So the, the, the thing you can do with, uh, 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 at any time with any of these movements, you have to find somebody in your house, especially nowadays, okay? Find somebody in your house that's willing to work with you. And, you know, you can say, okay, here, kind of slowly punch towards me and then see how you can use this and okay. see if the connection point is correct, okay? Right. Um, uh, young children are really good to use uh, because, you know, they're very flexible and so they're not as easily hurt as older adults. Uh, so it's always kind of nice to pick on younger children. Um, but uh, if you don't have any younger children around, <laughs> then you have to kind of go with who's uh, near you. So. Um, so yeah, you know, the point here is, is that when we go back and when we turn here, this is trying to connect with the hit that's coming. Then I can deflect. Then I can control and then strike. Okay. So basically what we're doing. Well, that, that really does kind of clear it up. And if I stay focused on what I'm trying to do with it, it'll help a lot. So thank you. Yes. So, you know, the thing also is, is this left arm needs to come straight up. Don't have it go out on an angle. Okay, so if this left arm uh, comes straight up and then from here it bends, and now this right arm is like this, then this right arm, it's already connected. Okay, so we do go a slight up and down, but it's not gonna change course. It's not gonna go too high because we need to still stay connected to our opponent uh, uh, and not lose connection with them. So um, this is very important. So, um, <clears throat> Yeah. Did that help you? Yes, yes. 
Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank All right. You much. Any other questions? Not for me. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So today's Perry Block and Punch. So Marion, uh, I hope this isn't going to confuse you a little bit more uh, uh, because when we do Perry, we're actually deflecting to to the to the corner uh, diagonal direction uh, in both ways. Okay. So uh, let's look at the footwork for Perry Block and Punch. All right. So I'm in a left bow stance, okay, because I'm at left knee brush. And I'm gonna get closer to this edge, okay. All right, uh, we're gonna take what's called a transition step. A transition step is like a, 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 a so that we can step out one or two times already uh, be, before we go into our, our stance, our final stance. So we're gonna go from one bow stance to another bow stance, okay? And we have a transition step in between. Now, when we have this transition step, uh, and, and when I shift back and I open my left foot to the corner, the transition step then means that I have to go along the same center line without crossing that line. And the right foot now is gonna step at a five degree angle. Why? Because my right foot is now gonna become my back foot, okay? So now I wind up in my left foot stance. So our transition step, Okay, if I'm here on one side of the line, I move weight back to center, open my foot 45 degrees, move weight forward, make sure your knees following your foot direction. Mm -hmm. Then when you step, the right heel needs to point 45 degrees. And we need to make sure that we're not crossing that center line, okay? So this is why I put the tape on the floor. Then move weight forward, make sure your right knee's following your right foot direction. And when you step out, step out shoulders width apart with the left heel and then move your weight forward, okay? <clears throat> so let's try that again. So from here, okay, shift back, open, foot goes 45 degrees, move weight forward, stepping out with the right heel. So now both my, my feet are pointed at the diagonal direction. Move weight forward, step out shoulders width apart from that line, and move weight forward, heel ball toe, and now we're in our left bow stance. Okay, so does anyone have any questions on this footwork? Okay, that's a no. All right, so um, this movement is called parry, block, and punch. It should actually be called parry, parry, block, and punch because we have two parries. So what, is the par what does parry mean? Parry means to deflect, okay? To deflect, to deflect. So we're gonna do two, de two deflections, okay? So what do I want your arms to think about? I want you to think about making like a figure eight. So if my right arm is here for a strike, I'm going to go diagonally down, I'm gonna turn my body, and then I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna make this outside circle and come here down to my hip, okay? So we're making kind of a partial figure eight. So from here, down, up, down, okay? So now when we do this, I want you to turn to the left, turning to the right, okay? So now my shoulder should be pointing to the corner direction when my right hand is here in front of my hip, okay? So if I'm square, shoulder square, not me personally, I'm not square, but I'm kind of rounded, but anyway. Uh, shoulder square, then turning to the left, go parry. Then start turning to the right, parry. Okay, so now my shoulders are to the front, to the, to the corner direction, okay? All right, one more time. Parry, turning. Parry, turning, and stop. Okay, all right, so we have this. So what I want you to feel, if you want to get your feet more than shoulders width apart, I want you to feel this. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, get this kind of a feeling of swing, 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 swing. Now when we swing our arms, we lead with the, the palm, facing downward, then the palm is gonna come up. 
and now it's going to be facing upward. Then it's going to go down, up, down, up. See how we're making this kind of like a, a sideways infinity sign, okay? Or we call this a figure eight, okay? Uh, so this is what our arm is doing with this parry. We're going parry, parry, okay, uh, uh, to a block, and then we're going to punch, all right? So, so what I need for you to do is I need to show you how to make a fist. So if you open up your right palm, and from here, bend your fingers, bend them more, and then take your thumb and close it between your, your, your middle knuckle and the first knuckle, okay? So that it covers your, your fist like this, okay? And make sure that you don't tuck your thumb inside or that you have your thumb sticking straight out, okay? We have it so that it's closed. So it goes over and protects these other uh, fingers. Okay, so when we go to hit or punch, I want you to have your fist closed, but you don't need to have a white knuckle fist. So I want your fist closed, so I don't want your <coughs> excuse me, fist open. So it should be closed, and we're, we're hitting with the flat part of our, our fist. So this part right here, okay? So if it can, it should be flat, okay? Uh, and your fist eye should be pointing up. Your fist tail will be pointing downward, okay? And make sure that you have one line, so don't have it sit up or go down. Make sure that it's straight, that it's straight, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from here, we're gonna go parry, Parry, and now we're going to make a fist. When your right hand comes to your right hip, I want you to make a fist, okay? So from here, we have parry, parry, have your fist, and then from here, see how my fist eye is pointing to the side? I'm going to rotate it so that the palm, that the fist eye is now pointed upward, and then I'm going to punch. So from here, punch. From here, punch. Just kind of lift it up and punch so that now your fist eye points upward. Okay, so from here we go parry, parry, making your fist. Then from here, punch. So this is going to rotate a little bit and punch forward. Okay, and we're going to punch straight out from our shoulder. Now, this is a time when uh, a lot of women get very excited about punching. Why? Because we don't really punch very much in life. Uh, and when we do, uh, we start to get kind of excited about it, okay? So when you do this movement, you go parry, parry, punch, okay? Don't get too excited. Everything needs to still take the same amount of time. We are punching somebody, but it's a slow kind of punch. I want you to think of <clears throat> making the punch last, okay? Make it last, so we go parry, parry, punch, okay? And uh, so, uh, uh, so just don't get too excited about the punch. You can get excited inside your body. Just don't show it with your speed, you know, with the energy. Just uh, 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 just think all that's going on inside, but we're just slowly punching. You gotta make the pain last, okay? All right, so, um, okay. Okay, so what are our arms doing? When, okay, does anybody have any questions so far? Okay, Bella says no questions, okay. All right, so what are our arms doing? All right, so here we are at left knee brush, right? Okay, you know how we transition to right knee brush? We go one, we lift up our arm halfway, and we go two and we close our arms. Okay, so this part is the same. So one, two. Now from here, this is where parry block and punch changes and is different from a knee brush. Now here, both arms are gonna go down circle. 
halfway down, I want you to make a fist with your right hand. Then I want you to rotate both arms, palms facing down, lifting up, looking towards the corner and step. So we know that when our arm reaches to the corner, we step. That's our timing, right? We go here, we go like this, and we go swing, step, right? So that's still our timing. So from here, back, turn, swing, make your fist, rotate both arms, palm facing down, lift up and step, okay? Now here is where I need for you to be careful that your fist is palm facing down. Okay, oftentimes we see students and they'll go like this and then their fist will be, actually the palm will be looking at them. So make sure your palm is facing downward, okay? All right, let's try that again. So from here, one, two. Now, shift weight forward, both arms go circle down, halfway down, make a fist, rotate your arms, lift, up and step. Bella has really good timing as far as her barking is concerned. Okay, good job, Bella. Okay, all right, let's try it one more time. Let me go to your direction. Yeah. From here. Okay, ready? One, shift back, lift your arm halfway. Two, close your arms. Now, three, both arms circle down. Make a fist halfway. Rotate, palm facing down. Lift up step okay so let's try that one more time from here okay back one turn two three parry halfway down make your fist rotate palm facing down lift up and step now we're looking at the corner direction okay now here's where it gets a little uh interesting okay so we're like this Okay, now the right arm is going to come up. Remember, we we're doing this figure eight. Okay, so from here, the right arm is going to come up and the left arm is going to follow. It's going to follow. It's going to do this motion, this motion here. Right arm comes forward, left arm follows. Now, the thing I want you to be careful about here is when we're here, uh, oh, let me turn this way. When we're here, try not to do this with your right arm. Okay, this is a, a tuck with fist, okay, in the second section, for those of you that already know the second section. All right, remember a figure eight? A figure eight is not straight. A figure eight, when we go like this, and we bring the arm up, look at the angle of my arm. It's diagonal. It's not over here, okay? So when we do this movement, back, turn, parry, step, parry. See how my arm is diagonal in front of me? And my left hand is behind it, all right? So let's try that from here. One, two, three, parry, step, parry. Now you're kind of forward. You should be forward, okay? Is your right arm diagonal to you? All right, so let's try that again. Back, one, turn, two, three, parry, rotate, lift up, step. Where's your looking direction? To the corner. Then, parry. Now our weight is pretty much on the right leg. Okay, let's try it again. <clears throat> One, two, parry, three, step, four. Okay, so from here, four. All right, so we're kind of in the forward position. All right, let's try it one more time. One, two, parry, three, step, four. Okay, is your left arm hand behind your right arm? Is your right arm diagonal? Is it diagonal in front of your body? Okay, all right. So then the next thing we have to do is, a, is called block. We have parry, block, and punch, all right? 
So, so we're like this, and then we go like this. All right, now we need to step out in our bow stance. Remember how we have a swing step? All right, but now we're gonna draw the right fist to our hip, block, okay? So, so our timing is gonna be, here's three, here's four, here's five, okay? Then we're gonna punch. So as we punch, the right hand comes forward, right hand comes forward, and the left hand comes back. So the left palm needs to be opposite the right middle forearm about one fist distance away, okay? So we're gonna look like this at the end. And I need for your palm, if you put your palm on the right middle forearm and then back up about one fist distance, then it's gonna be about this height. Oftentimes we have people like this, uh, doing like this, so that if you had to block something, you would be using your fingers and that would not work very well. So we need to make sure that we have the palm. The palm is actually gonna serve a couple of purposes, okay? Uh, if, if somebody is punching towards us, we can deflect this way. We can deflect this way using our palm to have them go out to the side. If you're using your fingers and you deflect, good luck, okay? All right, so let's try this from here. One, two, three, parry, make your fist, rotate, lift up, step. Four, parry, five, block, turn to the right. Are your shoulders open to the corner? Is your left arm in front of your left shoulder? It should be in line with your left leg. Then from here, punch. We're gonna square our body forward. The right fist comes forward, left fist, uh, left palm comes back slightly. Are you about one fist distance away from your uh, palm from your forehead, forearm? And our fist should be pointing straight. Our direction should be straight. Our, our shoulders should be square forward. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, let, let, let me go this direction so you can see this arm, okay? All right, so here we are here. One, back, two, turn, three, parry, make your fist, rotate, lift up, step, parry, number four, five, block, six, punch. Where's your left palm? Here? Or is it too low? Here. All right, let's try it again. Parry, block, and punch. Back, one, turn, two, three, parry. Step, four, parry. Five, block, six, punch. How's this? Uh-huh, okay. So the thing uh, Michael wants me to remind you guys is that when we're at the block, when we go to punch, this is how the arms interact with each other. One forward, one back. One forward, one back. Okay? All right, so let's try that again. I'll go this direction. Uh, what? Somebody have a question? No, okay, all right, so from here. Step up, parry, block, and punch. One, two, three, parry. Step, parry, four, five, block, six, punch. How's this? Good. Very good. Yes? Okay, all right, so let's take it from White Crane Spreads Its Wings. Let's go through all the knee brushes and then we'll do this parry block and punch, okay? So here we are at white crane spread the twins. All right, so from here, left knee brush, circle back, swing step, left knee brush, and push. Hand strums the lute. Rotate the right arm, circle back, swing step for left knee brush, and push. Right knee brush and push. One, two, swing, step, 
Brush knee, push. Left knee brush, one, two, swing, step. Brush knee, push. Hand, strums, the loop. Left knee brush and push. Step up, back, one, two, parry. Block, punch. How's that? Isn't that fabulous? You know, when we get to parry, block, and punch, a lot of students really like this movement. Why? Because we're actually moving, uh, you know, we're taking an extra step, so we're moving a little bit more than normal. Um, so um, this is actually a very beautiful movement. Okay, does anyone have any questions? Okay, so um, your job this week is to practice parry, parry, block, and punch. And, um, you know, some key things. Remember, when we circle down, okay, both palms face each other, then make your fist, then both arms rotate, palm facing down, and they lift up. Remember, when you go to the second parry, that the right hand arm is in front of you at a diagonal. Don't have it come over here. It's in front of you diagonally. Then from here, open. And then when you punch, right arm comes forward, left hand comes back, okay? So um, just a couple of things to think about with this uh, uh, parry block and punch movement, okay? And, um, you know, practice that. Uh, <clears throat> let me know when you get to uh, 10,000 because 10,001, it will surely be more correct, okay? So we'll go ahead and close class. Uh, if there are no questions, we'll close class. And everybody have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I'll see you next week. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. 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 Thank you.